If I had to build a human quadcopter EVTOL, here's what I would do. Have you ever wondered what it would take to build a flying machine you could actually pilot your very own human quadcopter EVTOL? Well, today, I'm going to break down exactly how I'd approach this futuristic project. From design to propulsion, safety systems, and controls, let's make this concept take off, literally. Every great idea starts with a vision. For a human quadcopter EVTOL, the design must be lightweight, aerodynamic, and of course safe. I'd go for a compact design, with a central cockpit surrounded by four rotors positioned at equal distances. The goal? Stability, efficiency, and portability. I'd use materials like carbon fiber for strength and weight reduction, and I'd aim for a design that could carry one or two people comfortably. The propulsion system is the heart of any EVTOL. I'd opt for highly efficient electric motors, most likely high-torque brushless DC motors. Each rotor would have pitched propellers for maximum control and thrust optimization. For power, I'd use a modular battery system, combining lightweight, high-capacity lithium sulfur batteries with supercapacitors for burst energy during takeoff and maneuvering. Next up is the brain of the quadcopter, the flight control system. I design an advanced onboard computer with redundant PID control algorithms. This would ensure precise balance and responsiveness, even in windy conditions. Think of it like a smart autopilot that adjusts rotor speeds in real time to keep you steady and smooth in the air. Safety is non-negotiable. I'd integrate an emergency parachute system for the entire vehicle, along with multiple redundancies in the flight control hardware. The rotors would have protective shields to minimize risk, and the cockpit would include a crash-resistant cage. And let's not forget about sensors. LiDAR for obstacle detection and GPS for precise navigation would be essential. To maximize flight time, I'd implement a regenerative energy system, harvesting energy during descent and rotor braking. Efficient power management would ensure I could squeeze the maximum range from the battery. With this setup, I'd target a flight time of 30 to 45 minutes per charge with a quick swap battery system for longer trips. Before putting this EVTOL in the sky, rigorous testing is key. I'd start with scaled down prototypes and flight simulations. Once the design proves stable, it's on to real world testing in controlled environments. Iteration is the name of the game. Every test teaches us something new, helping us refine the design until it's ready for prime time. A human quadcopter EVTOL isn't just a cool toy, it has real-world applications. From personal commuting to search and rescue missions, the possibilities are endless. Imagine beating traffic, delivering supplies to hard-to-reach areas, or just enjoying the thrill of personal flight. The future is limitless. Building a human quadcopter EVTOL is a challenge but it's also an exciting opportunity to push the boundaries of innovation. So, what do you think of my approach? Have ideas of your own? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more futuristic ideas. Until next time, keep dreaming big and reaching for the skies.